Hi everybody, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can make uh, a mesh with a triangular or hexagonal uh, pattern. Uh, usually, as you know, uh, a mesh has a square pattern. We can generate one quite easily. Shift A to make a plane, scale it to 10, for instance. And then in the edit mode we can subdivide here several times. And here we have our mesh with uh, this uh, square pattern and uh, the square symmetry you can use, for instance, to generate some uh, some figures, for instance, like here. Okay, but for some reason I wanted to have one mesh with a triangular pattern, and I'm going to show you how we can generate one like this. Let's go to the top view and add here a circle actually and this circle will make it with only three vertices. Then we will add a modifier, a ray modifier. We'll make three count here and we will merge the vertices that are too close to each other and we will apply this uh, modifier. Again we add a new array but this time in the y direction. We want also a small offset in the x direction typically 0.866 is good. We merge again the vertices when they are too close let's say 0.1 and we apply this uh, modifier. Now we will modify slightly our object. We go here to vertice selection and we connect these two vertices with F and again here with F. Then we have to remove these uh, edges with the edge selection tool. We can select the four edges on the right and with X we can delete these uh, edges. Then we select everything again and with F we make face and we can verify here that we have nice face on uh, each of our triangular uh, pattern. Okay, then we can add some more array Typically, the right value is 0.666 here. We measure again this in case of they are too close. And uh, we can make several of them. Let's say, let's say 8. We apply the array and again we add a array but this time in the y direction. We'll make like uh, the same, eight of them. And we apply, oh, let's merge in case of, and we apply uh, here or array again. Okay, what else we can do? Well, we can try to remove the faces on the edge with the selection tool, for instance. We make X remove faces and the same here with B selection tool X faces. Okay, we can also center our object, sorry, GX a little bit and GY like this. And finally, we can make the origin to the geometry of our object. As you can see now, we have uh, this nice uh, hexagonal pattern and we can play with this uh, symmetry uh, the same way that we did with the mesh with the square pattern. Okay, that's it. I hope that uh, you like this uh, small tutorial.